The top five habits of salespeople in 2018. Hey everyone, Happy New Year. I hope that you all have an amazing 2018 and in order for us to make our way to the finish line as far as our goals and dreams are concerned, we've got to be able to uh, prepare to develop some habits, some good habits. Here's what you should do. Get out a sheet of paper and write some of this down. You've got a lot of things that you've done right and a few things that you probably weren't the best at. As you're watching this, start writing down your good habits and some of your bad habits. After we're done, you can think about what you want to change. You know, get rid of some of the bad habits. Think about your good habits though. One of my good habits was going to work right after I woke up. I started that like in January of 2017. I'd get out of bed, get dressed, and take my 15 year old to school since he had to be at school at 7.30 every morning. It really helped me out. He was 14 at the time though. Now with three months of that, I was in a good habit. Some side benefits of that was I was getting to spend a little one-on-one -on -one time with them every morning and not feeling guilty about when I left work early to get to the gym. Of course, I had a few bad habits too. And I'm working on those now. Not gonna share those though. But over the years, I've developed thousands of salespeople with knowledge and talent. Any of the salespeople that have become successful have absolutely been serious about selling and the habits that make their lives easier because no matter who you are, sales is stressful. You need habits that build up over time by having systems in place that basically make your job almost effortless. Now keep in mind that no person in this world is born talented or with habits. It takes effort to become successful. The good choices that top salespeople make aren't difficult to learn, but they're just guided by certain principles and then they become second nature. In fact, once you develop certain habits, you no longer need to think about them. Just as bad habits become routine for some people, good habits also become root, uh, part of your daily routine. That's your goal. Having good habits should be something that you don't even need to think about. The way to do that is you implement these habits in your life. Now, I'm going to cover what I predict are going to be the top five habits, good habits of 2018 for salespeople. One, commitments. First off, we know that you're going to make commitments, whether the commitment is to your kids, manager, subordinates, friends, or most importantly yourself, you're going to make commitments and the habit that top performers are going to develop and maintain in 2018 is going to be keeping those commitments. When top salespeople make promises, they keep their commitments reinforcing to clients that they can be trusted. Don't confuse commitments with goals. For example, say you've got an appointment scheduled on your day off with the customer. Is it a goal for you to show up? Or is it a commitment? Obviously, it's a commitment that you've made to your customer. Your goal was to get the appointment in the first place. A commitment is a definable, controllable action that you're going to do no matter what. You have full control over whether or not the action is going to take place. Uh, being committed means that you've written your appointment down in your planner with a date and a time to make that commitment. Goals. Uh, number two, get in the habit of having goals, written goals. Of course, goals are the bigger vision. I, uh, the ideals that you want to accomplish and work towards, even if you don't have full control over the end result. Goals are the results that you want to achieve through the actions of your commitments. Right now is when everyone or a lot of people are writing down their 2018 goals. But when you're writing out your business plan, you need to have both goals and commitments. Your goals uh, have big and small visions. The second part of your plan, your commitment section, should emphasize the actions that you plan to take in order to bring about these results. A great salesperson will have a volume and financial goal, such as selling 400 units in 2018. They also have a commitment to make in order to reach that goal. The commitment would be to talk to 1,600 people about buying throughout the year. The average salesperson would need to talk to about seven people a day to make that happen. Are you committed to do that? Once you commit to do that, to that, and you do it, well, now you've got to have it. And the cool thing is you'll reach your goal if you do it. Do it for a certain period of time and you'll be in the habit of making a lot of money. Number three, never give up. Get in the habit of staying in the game. Sales is not easy. It requires dedication and persistence. It's okay to pause, but it's not okay to give up. Pausing is not stopping where we're supposed to do. 
uh, or what we're supposed to do. We're all going to t uh, talk to a massive amount of people that don't buy from us, not just you, but myself also. After we give those sales presentations, whether we're selling motorcycles, cars, or software, a lot of people are gonna say no to buying from us. You can't give up. Your prospects may not buy today, but they're gonna buy in the future. Get in the habit of calling them back with new information, the habit of texting them, emailing them, and asking them to buy again. This is a very difficult skill to develop, never giving up. But once you develop the habit of never quitting, it's a habit that leads to your goals. Don't confuse being the pushing, shoving kind of salesperson that's so hardcore that their sold and unsold customers will never come back to them. But when I say get in the habit of never giving up, I'm also referring to continuing your follow-up with your sold and unsold customers forever. Never give up. And four, make the choice to be positive. That's a habit. Being positive is a choice. Every morning that you wake up, you make a choice. Am I gonna be happy or sad? Will I have a good day or a bad day? It's up to you. You can't control everything bad that happens in your life, but in between some of the catastrophes, you can make the choice to be positive. And optimism is a money magnet. Don't be blindly happy all the time. It just means that you choose to focus on the good things. Even if you are surrounded by chaos and being in a dealership, typically you're surrounded by a lot of chaos. The moment that you let negativity in, quitting will seem to be the best option. Do not allow that. And then number five, seek out help. The top people are gonna be in the habit of getting help. It's not about doing the best that you can, it's about improving yourself every day so you can reach your goals. We all need help to do that, whether it's from a book, a video, or someone that we know that has more skills than ourselves, get help. If you're like so many of millions of other people on this earth and you drive to work every day, Turn your vehicle into a classroom. Dedicate a certain amount of, uh, of time every morning, like 10 minutes, to learn something new that's gonna help you make some money. Something that's gonna give you the knowledge to improve your skills. Your car can be a classroom. 10 minutes is all it takes. That is getting help. If you uh, begin to develop these habits, then they become a daily routine. Now, if you like this, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any uh, comments that might help the rest of us out, Please leave them below and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.